perfect. You're, you're on the right one. Hello everyone and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video we're going to be starting our first of the series in the Vault of Glass guides. In this guide we're going over the first encounter which is forming the spire. To form the spire there are three plates. One in the top right, one in the bottom left, and one in the middle. Two guardians should be positioned at each plate. I like to separate our warlocks and put, make sure those are separate so that the warlocks can have their own plate as well as a titan. Try to have one titan or one warlock at each plate. This will help you capture it that much quicker and allow for good survivability. As you can see, I'm headed to the right plate here. I'm headed over there with Sponge, who is our warlock. Once we get there, Sponge is going to take the plate. He is a warlock. He's going to have his rifts going. He's going to have his well going. If you do have the new exotic pants, uh, for the Warlock, those are super helpful as well. Have, make sure to have those on. You can see I'm running the Wither Horde. We are both running the Fallen Guillotine Sword. And then I am also running the Iculos SMG to create Warmind Cells. Warmind Cells in this raid seem to be very OP. So I highly suggest having some way to create Warmind Cells. The, uh, the uh, Wither Horde is also super strong in this, in this raid as well. Because there is a lot of add clearance and defense. As you can see... Sponge is on the plate and really not leaving the plate while I rotate from spawn to spawn. There's our back spawn and there's our top spawn. You can see them go straight there. I do suggest hunters be what I call the roamers as they can go invisible and push through any ads that might be there. Watch out for these cyclopses as they spawn because they will one shot you. You can see we quickly, we quickly take it down. I use my special. See, I go and visit there to save my life and push forward to get to the Minotaur. Minotaurs will try to overtake your plate, and if they do, the, for, the, the foreman of the spire will stop, and eventually, if you don't hold it long enough, it will reset. So make sure these guys go down as quick as possible. Call out. That's the spawn for the middle. Um, I'm letting my middle nut guys know that he's coming, but I did help him out a little bit. See, I go straight there. I go and visit because I'm taking damage. I take out that Minotaur. I go back. I check for the Cyclops, I go back to the other side. And this is rinse and repeat the whole time. If the guy on the pad needs ammo, he will call out to you and says, I need ammo, get to the pad and stay on the pad. I'm telling him, right, he just called for it. I'm telling him I'm going to take out this Minotaur, which I do in a half a second. There we go. I take out these Hobgoblins since they will damage you a lot. I'm using the Wormhouse Crown as well. Cyclops spawns. I missed my Weather Horde there, but it's okay. And then he's going to go get ammo right now. I'm going to stay on the pad. You can see our spire there in the background is forming up very nicely. But I'm staying on the pad until he gets back. Do not leave your pad at all costs. This will help this encounter go quickly. It takes about three minutes. As long as someone's on that pad at all times, it will take about three minutes to complete and you'll be on your way. So again, just rotate from either side, killing the, killing the minotaurs as priority and then the other ads. Um, Sponge is running the succession here, so he can shoot from range at the Cyclops, as well as Minotaurs and adds as they spawn, especially the Snipers and the Cyclopses. So that take that as a note that succession does really work very well for the guys that are on the pads to help with ad control. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to let this play out. If there's any questions, make sure to put them in the uh, comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. As we complete these different um, encounters, I will be uploading them and explaining to you how we completed them. I'll try to include any build tips or gun tips as much as possible. Uh, but again, Warmind Cells and Wither Horde seem very strong for this uh, raid, as well as rocket launchers and other grenade launchers. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, any questions, like I said, put them in the, in the uh, comments below. I will be doing uploads hopefully all week long with each encounter as we complete them. We are freshly learning this raid none of us have done it before so it's taking us a little longer to kind of get down the mechanics and, and understand what's happening so uh, we'll get to it though we're gonna we're gonna take our time and we're gonna learn and try to devise everything we can so i can share that with you thank you all for your continued support have a great night bye bye you want to see it uh, another praetorian on backside yeah guys we got a lot of nice first try look at that Look at that! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yep. did it. <laughs> Look at that! Nice work, everybody. Yeah, you're right inside the door. Nice work, everybody. 
Where are we going? Thank you, English. Oh, Thank you, Rambo. Padster is the OG. You're right. Anti-Praetorian Vault of Glass. Oh, nice. I got Vex Breaker. <laughs>